Good morning, my name is Anton and I am a specialist in black soldier flies production at the Danish Technological Institute and today I will uh, like to present you some of our efforts, uh, R&D efforts on, on optimizing black soldier flies production with focus on creating new symbiosis between the insect production sector and the biogas uh, sector. However, before I will start with that, I would like to give a short introduction on the Danish Technological Institute. We've been on the market for the past 100 years um, and we are actually well known. Uh, we've been a part of, of uh, technological evolution uh, in Denmark, but also abroad. Uh, we have more than 1000 specialists in the house working on different sectors. Uh, we have state-of-the-art equipment and we have over 80 labs uh, that we use to generate our knowledge. We are actually divided in uh, different uh, divisions. Uh, we have eight divisions and each division has a center uh, and the ones in the circles, uh, the, the sensors that are actually in the circles are actually working with insect production. So we have five different centers working uh, with insect uh, production or application of insects um, as it is. Our efforts uh, are actually done by uh, multiple uh, cross-disciplinary team, uh, to put it this way, uh, working uh, through the entire value chain. We are more than 17, uh, 16 specialists, sorry, and, and uh, seven technical uh, staff. Uh, as I mentioned, we are actually uh, working through the entire value chain of insect production from production, and this is the, the focal area where I am uh, involved, uh, to processing and uh, ingredients uh, development and applications. Um, we, for the past two years, we've been a part and we've been leaders in different R&D projects, uh, covering more than 18 million euros uh, in uh, budgetary uh, fundings. Um, Today, I will focus on one of those, and that's Vice for Soil. It's an international, uh, it's a, it's a national uh, project uh, uh, financed by the Environmental Protection Agency of Denmark. The national strategy is to change from a linear economy to a biocircular economy by 2050, where waste is actually designed out. Um, in regards to this, it's, it's crucial that we develop new circular technologies which are aiming to increase efficiency use of resources and decrease the raw material use. And uh, this could be applied to former food staff as well. Our goal as an institute uh, is related to the project and is to pave the way for utilizing former food staff and catering waste in insect production uh, while utilizing the insect rats as byproduct for soil improvement. Um, the main aim of this project is to secure high nutrient recovery in form of insect grass for further application as soil amendment and to ensure that high quality uh, protein and lipids in form of larval biomass could be used outside the food uh, loop. For example, for pet food um, applications or other eyes for, for uh, fur farming uh, application. Uh, the conceptual diagram of Vice for Soil is that we use the former uh, uh, food stuffs uh, or catering waste or uh, other materials um, as a feed source for black soldier flies and once that will actually be uh, uh, eaten we can actually produce uh, proteins, lipids, uh, chitins that could be used outside the, 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 the food loop as well as uh, uh, insect grass, uh, which can be used as byproduct, either directly for soil uh, applications, so as fertilizer, or otherwise, we can actually uh, have one more step, uh, so we can run it through a biogas production, uh, creating new sources of energy, and then discharge it on the on the fields as fertilizers. Uh, during the vice for soil production. Uh, during the Vice for Soil, we've been actually able to produce more than uh, 17 batches uh, now. Uh, the former food staff uh, show uh, some variation when it comes to dry matter uh, concentration uh, and ash content, but it has uh, quite stable protein and lipid uh, concentrations showing that this is actually a very high quality uh, uh, substrate that could be 
use for uh, black soldier flies. Um, during those multiple batches, we've been able to produce more than uh, 200 kilos of black soldier flies and about 190 kilos of insect brass uh, of high quality. Um, how, moreover, the feed conversion rate showed that the, the, the system, the bioconversion of former foodstuff in, in larval biomass and insect brass is actually quite efficient. The feed conversion rate, for example, when taken on a dry to dry matter basis, show uh, very low, uh, let's say, ratios, uh, which are between 2.3 and 2.7 for most of the time, except a period where we had uh, the COVID-19 uh, striking Denmark. In that period of time, we had uh, all the restaurants being closed and therefore, uh, some of the, 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 the food and we also had the pastries and many other production sites being closed and during that period the quality of the substrate was not so, so uh, interesting as uh, during the normal uh, times. Um, however, we end up having a couple of solutions when it comes to that. We mix the pulp with other waste streams such as the coffee grounds, uh, husk, and other high fiber pulp types in order to, to, to make it more appealing for insects. Um, batch 16 and batch 17 in particular were actually uh, rare on, on, uh, on a combination of uh, high fiber pulp and, uh, and uh, normal uh, pulp with a low dry matter concentration. Um, we also did some optimization during the vice for soil uh, in some of the batches, uh, and this is uh, the latest uh, batch uh, that, uh, that uh, I will present, uh, batch 17, where we look at the density optimization. Here we actually run three different densities, and we uh, realize that we can actually increase the density up to nine larvae per square centimeter, uh, while increasing the uh, production of black soldier flies. Moreover, we also look at the quality of the insect press when it comes to uh, its suitability to be applied as soil amendment. Uh, and in this regard, we also sieve uh, or separate the, the insect press in dif different fractions. Uh, a fraction that is called technical press, uh, we sieve it to a sieve of three millimeters. Uh, and this is actually uh, the clean press that can be used in the a soil amendment or soil improvement, and a dischargeable frass uh, where we also have some uh, packaging, uh, residue packaging materials in. Uh, this uh, dischargeable uh, frass could be used for uh, energy production in forms of electricity and thermal energy in cogeneration power plants uh, by combustion. Uh, the other frass could also be run through biogas, uh, and I will come back to that in a second. Um, during the density optimization, we've also been uh, we've been also looking at the feed conversion rate on both uh, fresh weight and the dry matter basis, and we could see that by having a, a higher density in our production crates, which were actually half pallet size, uh, we can actually decrease the the feed conversion rate up to 2.2. This is actually very very uh, good results. And in, at the same time, we can have about 50% of the substrate, uh, the dry matter uh, basis, uh, being consumed by black soldier flies. Now, furthermore, we also look at the safety aspects of uh, the, the frass uh, obtained uh, from the production of black soldier flies on former foodstuff. And we could see that the heavy metal content uh, levels uh, in three different uh, frass types were actually lower than the maximum, maximum allowance. This indicates that um, uh, regarding the heavy metals concentration, the frass can be used as a soil improvement. Uh, furthermore, uh, the quality of the frass, uh, and now uh, I'm referring to other uh, nitrogen, uh, phosphorum, potassium, and other nutrients content, was actually quite high, indicating that this is uh, highly plausible to be used uh, as soil, and uh, we are actually planning to start the trials uh, next year in April, where we look at the quality of insect press as a soil amendment uh, at uh, parcel uh, level. Uh, 
Previously, uh, we also ran some tests where we look at a uh, few different scenarios, either on using the pulp directly for biogas production, and we had 63.98, so 64 kilos of substrate, uh, which show a production of uh, biogas of uh, 52 liters per kilo, so this is the biogas potential, um, and a total of 3,300 uh, 27 liters of uh, methane gas uh, being produced. However, we also look at the scenario where the pulp was being used as feed uh, for insects, for black soldier flies, and then the insect flies will be used as a substrate for biogas. Uh, this show us that, uh, so we use a total of 6.76 kilos of insect flies uh, derived from, this, uh, from the 64 kilos of pulp. Uh, this show a biogas potential of 75 liters per kilo, uh, which is a bit higher than the potential for using only the bio, uh, bio pulp um, directly. But due to the fact that the, the, the amount of press was much, much lower than the bio pulp, the overall total uh, 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 biogas production was much lower. Um, however, we have to remember that the biogas uh, potential, uh, the biogas production could be uh, actually uh, seen as a recycling, while uh, the production of insects and the production of energy as a symbiotic could be uh, seen as an uh, upcycling. And this is the reason why, this, this is due to the reason that when using uh, a very high quality uh, substrate only for energy production, it's a down uh, cycling while uh, converting macronutrients such as protein and, uh, and, and fats that could be uh, found in those former foods uh, in the same macronutrients, uh, so protein and lipids, uh, in forms of insect biomass, it's an, uh, it's an up cycle uh, and we'll still have uh, recycling. Uh, we also run a couple of uh, production estimation on those two different scenarios, either on using the traditional pulp to biogas or otherwise uh, pulp to uh, insect and insect frass to biogas and we try to identify what will be the, the value created in those two different scenarios. So if we take the traditional recycling model uh, and assume that we have uh, about 1000 kilograms of food waste, uh, we can actually produce about 400 cubic meters of uh, uh, biogas. And uh, at the same time we can also produce some of the uh, some of the fertilizers in, in in form of dischargeable uh, substrate from the biogas production. Uh, this will actually give us a total value uh, proposition of about 150 euros. Um, however, if we look at the symbiotic relationship scenario, we'll actually be able to increase uh, uh, the overall value proposition uh, two and a half uh, times more. And this is because while using the insect production, we can create uh, feed that could be used outside the, the food loop, uh, for example, for, for uh, animals or for pet food. Um, and this will give us a higher uh, value proposition. Uh, then we can also have some of that uh, being, uh, then we, we can have a byproduct in form of insect frass uh, that could be used for biogas production. Uh, this will produce about 180 uh, cubic meters of biogas uh, and uh, then uh, the residual substrate, substrate we can also use it as fertilizer. Um, we believe that this uh, uh, symbiotic scenario could be uh, the future and this is because uh, it, uh, it could also help on, on recycling or in upcycling the, the resources from the former food while uh, creating a more dynamic, uh, uh, let's say, uh, recycling strategy of our resources. Uh, thank you very much. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me or contact my colleagues at the Danish, uh, Danish Technological Institute. We'll be more than happy to present some of our works or uh, disseminate with you um, on our uh, results.